Hey there, welcome back to the channel. Today, I have something truly exciting and unique for you. We're diving into a topic that, as far as I know, hasn't been explored on YouTube yet. The video editing performance of AMD Ryzen 5600G on Mac OS compared to Windows. Yep, you had the right. A head-to-head -head comparison between this two operating system on the same hardware. If you're a content creator or just someone curious about how Mac OS handles video editing on Ryzen 5600G setup, you are in for a treat. Stick around because this is going to be an eye-opener for those who are considering building a hack and toes for video editing. I'll be sharing my personal insights and experience along the way. In this video, I'll break down the detailed performance comparison of AMD 5600G on Mac OS and Windows. I'll test high-end video editing tasks like handling 26 layers of text, effects, and cuts. I will use Filmora Protein, one of the best cross-platform video editing tools to keep things fair and consistent. I'll share rendering times and timeline smoothness. And if you're thinking about setting up Hackintosh, make sure to check out my macOS playlist for step-by-step -step guide. Now let's jump into the nitty-gritty. First up, I passed AMD Ryzen 5600G to its limit by editing a project with 26 layers of text, effects, and footage. Imagine the pressure the setup had to handle. The project was around 7 minutes long, packed with high-end effects, cuts, and transitions. Despite all this, the timeline on the Mac OS performed flawlessly. No lag, no shuttering. When it came to rendering, the same 7-minute footage at 1080p 60fps took about 15 minutes on Mac OS. Not bad for such a heavy project. Next, I performed a more standard editing task with basic effects on a 3-minute video. This time, Mac was rendered the project in around 7 minutes. On Windows, the same task was slightly faster, about 6 minutes and 30 seconds. That's just a 30 seconds difference, but it's worth nothing. For a broader perspective, I also rendered the same project on another PC. The result? Mind-blowing. It took only about two and a half minutes to render, almost 300% faster than Ryzen 5600G setup, powered by an Intel Arc A750 graphics card. The difference here clearly highlights how much hardware compatibility and GPU power influence performance. So, what did I learn? Well, Mac was handled video editing remarkably on Ryzen 5600G, even under heavy workloads. However, it was nothing that Windows had a slight light edge in rendering times for lighter projects, likely due to hardware optimization. On the other hand, Mac OS provides a smoother timeline experience, which was a big for detailed editing workflows. When it comes to hardware compatibility, Mac OS seems to be slightly less significant, leveraging the full potential of this setup as compared to Windows. But the difference is minimal, about 2-3% on performance. If you're considering building a Hackintosh with AMD Ryzen 5600G, then I'd say, go for it. It's a solid choice. And if you're curious about how to set up your own Hackintosh, don't forget to check out my dedicated playlist on this channel. Let me know in the comment section below which OS you prefer for video editing, Windows or Mac OS. If you found this video helpful, then smash the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future updates. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until, keep creating, stay awesome.